This idea gave me my mind randomly. I just wanted to use a lily and pillar in my project. But it turns out something really cool, useful and what is a pretty great business idea. Stay tuned. First we need to 3D print all necessary parts. Free STL files you find in the video description below if you are interested to build this by your own. In this build everything is printed out with PTG. Probably PLA works also fine, but ABS will not. It's because those parts will have contact with a lot of different chemicals and ABS can easily react or melt with those. Pretty much as it does with acetone. But okay, when everything is printed out I did little cleanup for the motor mount and we are ready to start building. To powering this tool I use this little micro motor. This lead is designed specially for this paint mixing cup, but outside geometry is something around 38 cm. Fit is really tight to prevent any leaks. At the middle of the cover is one slot for 16 times 8 mm pal bearing. When the bearing is nicely in place, we can attach the motor mount on top of the lead using 4 mm bolts. Before we do this, we have to push 2 mm nuts inside the coupler and then attach this to the micro motor. Because the fit have to be really tight, this step take you a bit force. Now when the coupler is installed, we can screw the motor mount to the lead using 4 mm bolts like I said before. Next step, we need right size steel rod. I took measurements really professional way. Two hours later. Lily impeller is attached to the one end of the steel rod and the other end is connected to the coupler. But the Lily impeller have to be at the right height. It cannot be too far away from the bottom like you see on the screen, but it cannot touch the bottom also. When I got this right, I did little marking and then I glued impeller permanently to the steel rod using some super glue. Okay, yeah, I fucked up. I 3D printed out new impeller and I got this done this time. And now building this paint mixer is finally done and we can test this out. Wow, really impressive, beautiful. Oh, and by the way, there is no difference which way the lean impeller turns. Let me explain a bit more. If this is turning counterclockwise, it's sucking water from the top to the bottom. This is happening right now. But when I change the impeller direction and it starts turning clockwise, then the water is moving up. When I test this out with real paint and clear coat, I always turn impeller clockwise. Everything works pretty fine with water, but I'm afraid that we need a bit more power when we try to mix a bit thicker liquids. Now I plan to use 12 volt DC motor, last one was 6 volts by the way. For this motor I had to print out new mount and after this disassemble and assemble everything again. Ok now we are finally here where we can really test this out. We start with car clear coat. And be noted that we are using real ratios, two times clear coat and one time hardener. Ok, let's close this lead and finally start with moment what we are all waiting for. Not bad at all, passed the test really successfully. I have mixed this clear coat in my life pretty many times, so I know this is mixed perfectly. But we need visual proof, that's why I add a little bit blue paint in this clear coat. Now we can really see how the shit is mixed up there. Ah uh, by the way, because of the slow motion footage, it looked like I mixed this clear coat forever there, but actually this took only somewhere around 10 seconds.
Again, the total mixing time was somewhere around 10 to 15 seconds. I think I don't have to say this, but it's perfect. If you wanna get this type of result by your hand, I can say this take you a way longer time. But okay, enough of this clear goat. Next one is really cool. I am pouring two different colors of paint together. This blue one is almost fresh, but this uh, yellow one, is this yellow, I don't know, uh, is, uh, I don't know exactly how old, but probably somewhere around two to three years. Like you see, this is way, way thicker than the blue one. Hopefully my machine don't die, never know, we'll see. Okay, it struggles. It struggles hard. Right now, this is full power. But actually, this is not really big surprise also, because the older paint was... Well, this was so thick like honey or something. But it's look beautiful. Yeah, not bad. Wow. I add a bit solvent and let's try this again. Now it worked, and actually pretty well. If you look at this paint thickness, actually this is how one fresh paint should be. I think adding a bit solvent was not really cheating. But when paints and clear coats are mixed, we have to clean this. I pour nitro solvent into the cup and doing the exactly same thing what I just did before with other stuff. Meanwhile, I am cleaning this cup. I wanna thank you for making this video so far. And especially, I want to thank you my subscribers and future subscribers. You guys are really making those videos possible. If you want to support me and see this type of content in the future, hitting this like and subscribe button will really help me out. If you are new, then I recommend to watch some of my other videos if you are interested about 3D printing. I have made a lot of cool projects and tutorials. Some of them are useful, some of them not so much. But this is it for today's video. I hope to see you again in my future videos. But right now, thank you for watching and bye.